guys, welcome back to a brand new vlog. We have a bit of a change of pace this week. We were thinking of going to New York for New York Fashion Week and I've been organising a few things. And then in the end, a few work projects came in at home and it's all just gotten a little bit too busy and a little bit crazy. And I was like, I'm not gonna be able to fit everything in. So we've decided we're gonna stay at home instead. So never mind, we'll do New York next season. I'm still gonna do Milan and Paris, but no New York on this occasion. So instead, today is Sunday. It's Alex's birthday. I've already cooked him a nice little breakfast and I'm gonna go out soon. I'm just waiting for the rain to stop. I'm gonna nip out soon and get some food um, to bake him some carrot cake. Carrot cake cupcakes with cream cheese frosting because that's his favorite. But yeah, as you can hear, just waiting on the rain to stop and then I can get doing that. So in the meantime, I've decided I'm gonna clear out my boots collection because it's absolutely crazy you're not gonna believe this um tidy this absolute disaster honestly the light situation in this room like if you guys can remember when i didn't have these windows imagine how dark it would be then without these windows and it's i mean it's i mean it's a really gloomy gloomy day today so i'm gonna maybe pull everything out and put it all back in because this has got absolutely hideous and likely a load of it will end up on my depop i'm back on depop again i've still got a few things left in my vestiaire the more luxury categories kind of missed how simple depop is for a lot of different brands that vestiaire don't actually take and also sunglasses that i've had for years and no longer wear and things like that so yeah i'm on depop again as, as victoria mcgrath this has been needing to be done for a long time i'm gonna watch an episode of never have i ever and uh, crack on guys. This is delightful. <laughs> this took me 31 minutes. And it looks really great now. I can actually see the boots that I own. And I've just pulled a couple out that I don't wear. Like these beautiful Chloe Sorrells, which are stunning, but I only wore them like once. These incredible, like these are amazing, these Saint Laurent boots. Like a tan leather and a pink metallic heel. I mean, they're awesome. These, I think, are, oh yeah, they're, aquas, they're a pair of Aquazura boots, but they're like super similar to these, which I have two pairs of. But I always preferred wearing the, the smaller heel than the block. So I'm gonna give those up, I think. Yeah, my beautiful church's boots. Again, I've worn these quite a bit, but I realized that I had, I now have my beautiful Holland Cooper boots. I mean, these are just awesome and a bit more me. And I've got a similar pair of Versace at the back and the Dior's as well now. So I didn't really need three pairs and these ones I'd much rather wear. I've got a couple of Dior boots here in black, there in black. The Aquazuras are getting an animal print, which are also down here. I've kept this pair of silver boots back back in there because it's just good to have a few different colours. I've kept my Balenciagas, these beautiful red boys back here because again I don't have any other red boots and they're amazing. And then down here is very much all of my tall, my tallest boots like over the knee, um, calf length. So I've got a load of calf length here, some over knee, a couple more over knee at the back and then these couple of flat boots at the front and then my more calf length sort of shorter calf length here at the front and these guys don't fit anywhere so they're gonna have to go there <laughs> but um yeah god i'm thrilled i've got this done because this looks so much better now okay i've sparked something now guys i'm i'm i've been meaning i've been meaning to do this crazy cupboard now since i did the last ones and showed you that like two months ago yeah i'm gonna do this Covered because it's got absolutely ridiculous. So again, I'm just gonna fast forward because this could get a bit dull. Guys, check it out. Look how much better this is. Honestly, my, my white shirt collection is a little bit insane, but I promise every single white shirt here is complete. It's no, okay, it's not completely different. Every single white shirt here is different. Like, one's in linen, one's in cotton, long, uh, puffy sleeved, normal, long sleeved, oversized, Carolina Herrera, and then we've got 
cropped ordinary, cropped with a band around the waist. Um, this one is cropped with no buttons. This one's cropped in a thick con. So you get my drift. They're all slightly different. And then I've got my silks, like my lily silk silk um, shirts, which are always lovely for a certain type of trouser. Then I've got my silky um, Versace. And then a couple of linens. And then going into a few of my favourite sort of knit tops. So not cardigans and not jumpers, but like actual tops with like sweetheart necklines, for instance. Then these four are sleeveless. <laughs> Sleeveless roll neck of sort, almost like grandad jumper gilet vibes. I can't think of the word right now. You know what I mean. Vest, like a sweater vest style. Then five different cardigans. One final roll neck there, which is my Balmain one. I, I, I've taken all my others out. And the only reason I've left this is because this doesn't fold very easily. So I've just left that in there. And then um, the rest are pretty much just my favorite trousers all hung up. And then here it's like t-shirts and small little tops and this is all bodysuit so anything that that goes underneath you like a bodysuit goes here. So good now I can actually see where everything is. Fantastic! Right, I'm gonna get on with my shopping for Alex. I remembered I had the Hummingbird Bakery cookbook and in here they do, I mean this is such a lovely book, they do a humming, wait no, that's not the one, that's not the one, they do, so that is what I'm going to make, cream cheese frosting carrot cake and I'm going to make, but instead make them in cupcakes, so this is, it makes 10 to 12 slices which is a big cake, I'm going to half that and make maybe 6 to 8 cupcakes, I think, so I just need to nip to the shop, okay, I'm back, Shopping is complete. It's got completely rained on, but it's fine. I want to be the wife with the mostest. <laughs> so, Yorkshire puddings. It's probably more my treat, to be honest. Right, I've got the butter, the sugar, shopping list, walnuts, cream cheese spread, tonic for Alex, dauphinoise potatoes, green veg medley, I've got the carrots to make the carrot cake, ice and sugar, baking powder, oil, all the things, all the things I needed. Oh, and <laughs> the treat, his favourite chocolate bar. So that's it. I'm doing pretty well so far actually. I'm up to the last step, which is just cutting up some walnuts. I should, if I thought about it ahead, I would have chopped these in the Thermomix too. But never mind, I just need to chop up like 50 grams of walnuts to put in, put in the carrot and then, and then I'm all good. I'm just using like my enormous, enormous knife to cut these up. But I've done everything in the Thermomix and it just, it's just easy peasy because then I can literally scale everything, like weigh everything up in the Thermomix before you then just switch it on so it's... Yeah, it's mega handy. Okay, last step. I need to add my carrots and carrots and my wonderfully chopped walnuts into this. Right, so I'm gonna put them in my little cupcake dishes. In fact, I do seem to have quite a lot of mixture here, seeing as I did, I did half of the mixture that it said in the book, so I don't have any little cupcake holder things. So instead, I'm just going to grease these little cups and I'm just going to hope for the best that that works because I actually don't know if this is going to work, if they're actually going to come out. Hopefully they do. Okay, birthday carrot cake muffins are done and smell delicious, look pretty great. And then I've just whipped up the cream cheese frosting. So let's, let's get making. That is so much better now. So much better. I didn't realize that there was like a big lump of cream cheese that was astray. So this is far better. Now you want a healthy amount because the cream cheese is the best bit. Oh, 
morning guys. I'm just about to make my favourite smoothie right now. I've been meaning to film it for ages so I'm just going to do it whilst I have everything ready. I've also just finished up a, a Dyson Airwrap routine, like updated routine video because I always get asked for them and a lot of people have to be like oh look back, look back through a number of reels but actually it's like 40 reels ago now so I thought if you do want to know how I use the air wrap and like what my kind of like method is then have a peek at my TikTok. Right I'm just going to show you how good this smoothie is. It is absolutely delicious. So what I, what I was aiming for was like a coffee banana smoothie could resemble the kind of things that you get at like Soho House or this place called Mortimer House in London. Those kind of really cool cafes that do like the delicious like avo toast breakfast and stuff they always have these amazing drinks in fact there's one uh, place called pharmacy in notting hill that i love and it's called cool beans anyway i wanted to kind of create my own so this is my recipe okay and this kind of creates maybe three glasses worth at most we have two glasses but just large so i have maybe like a half a cup of ice in here two small bananas or one enormous banana, <laughs> but yeah, two kind of medium sized bananas will do. These aren't over, whoa, these aren't overly ripe unfortunately, but it's all we had at the shop and they'll be fine as soon as they're, um, as soon as they're put into here. I often put in about four or five dates. So just full size dates, like five, why not? That's a bit of sweetness. I just do like a little shimmy shake of chia seeds, probably about, a teaspoon amount. The one thing annoyingly I ran out of is cashews. Now usually I would put in maybe half a cup worth of cashews. Today we're missing that. So it's usually about half a cup of cashews. Um, again, probably, you don't have to, this is one thing that I omit now and again, is the, the chocolate, the <laughs> raw cacao. Put a little sprinkle of that in. Then I do about, a quarter of a cup of some oats just to thicken this bad boy up this is my new favorite vegan protein it's so good i love it it's called free soul this is the vanilla vegan protein blend powder they also do really delicious protein bars there's a peanut butter one that's really great it's kind of like i think a bit like a snickers i suppose but without the crunch it's, yeah they're really really good so anyway i put a nice big heaped tablespoon of that in, really adds to the flavour as well, the vanilla. Honey, I just really love anything by Kind to Be. This one is like, this is, I mean, this is amazing. It's literally got a massive chunk of honeycomb down the middle. But I do about a half a teaspoon of that. Again, this can be taken out, the dates can be taken out, the cacao can be taken out if you don't want it to be so sweet or if you are, you know, on your own diet plan that doesn't contain sugar completely cheap. Then I do, I don't know if you can see, two shots of espresso and there. It's a shame I don't have all the cashews because that does add to the flavour but never mind. And then this is from our coffee machine. We've filled it up with oat milk this morning so I might as well use this rather than open up a fresh thing. So oat milk, I mean you can use almond or whatever you prefer but I use, you know, dairy free. So like I said, I've already put ice in here and then with the milk I'm literally going to cover I'm going, to, I'm going to put as much milk in it that covers. So now the milk is pretty much covering the top of everything. So then, go to the thermo. I've put the coffee in, yeah. Thermo mix it. And this, I often will blitz it for like a minute and a half on a really high speed because you want to get rid of all the bits of nuts and break up the dates and the chia seeds and the ice. So I have to start it off a bit slower so it's got a minute to get going. So we have a perfectly blended drink. So we've got my favourite, favourite smoothie glasses, the light recycled glass glasses. And my glass straws from, oh, what's the name of the brand? Borg. No, let's top this bad boy up. So it's a bit like a banana smoothie, but instead of it being super sweet, it's got that coffee 
kicking it, quite subtle. Got a bit of the sweetness of the dates, the vanilla of the protein powder. Oh, honestly, it's absolutely amazing. <laughs> cool, right, so I'm gonna carry on. I need to go film another TikTok. And then I think I need to take off my makeup to do a, to shoot a campaign today for makeup. So that's what my day looks like. So I'll come back as soon as I have a moment free. Hello guys. It is windy today. Windy really is not the word for today. Superstorm maybe, or you are gonna get blown away if you go outside, Bobo. That's what we should call it. It is crazy out there and now my garden is strewn with branches and one of my pots, it's not fallen over, but the, the tree inside of it's fallen over, so great. Oh gosh, I have had, do you know, I feel like every time I come on here, I'm like, I've had such a productive day. I've had a really productive day. And you're probably like, all right. <laughs> um, but genu genuinely today, I have had a truly busy, um, and productive day. Oh, God, that's where the light is. I have been pretty much sat here doing a couple of different Zoom calls, business calls, accountant calls. Um, I've managed to film a TikTok in between because I wanted to get a little bit of this gorgeous orange jumper in. And have you guys seen, this is one of the new Mulberry Little Softy bags. There is a bigger one, which is called the Softy, I think. And there's also one that's more of like a shopper shape, but I just really loved this little the little softy style, it's just a bit more me. Very, very kind gift from Mulberry. Thank you so much to the team. And I had I had the perfect new matching jumper, so wonderful. Are you gonna go outside, darling? Are you gonna be okay outside? There you go, wee-wees. So yes, gorgeous new Mulberry bag. Very exciting. Um, what else have I been doing? Oh, also, Coach sent me a pie from the Coach Bakery. My goodness gracious me, absolutely divine. We've eaten half of it, which is pretty good actually. Apple cinnamon pie. The most like Americana style pie ever. Absolutely, absolutely delicious. Thank you so much to Coach. As like I said, I mean, I was meant to be going to the Coach show in New York and um, we had to, had to cancel our plans just because of a number of projects that came in last minute. And so we had to stay here, unfortunately. But I'm a little bit worried about Bo just being out there. Sorry, I digress. Yes, yeah, so Coach, very kindly, because they realised that last minute I couldn't go to their show, they sent us that wonderful pie. In terms of Fashion Month, though, I've just got my Todd's outfit for the show. Love it, absolutely gorgeous. Oh, I've got another Saint Tropez Luxe Cream Mousse. Fantastic, it is amazing. Oh, cool, I think it's all part of like a firming range, so like a firming lotion with tan in it. Oh, it smells good, actually. It smells really good. So anyway, I actually have quite a few things to do. I now need to do a call with Rebecca and just to catch up on everything that's happened today, everything that's going on, um, just to get on top of everything. This year is already shaping up to be like the most busy, crazy year yet, somehow, God knows how. All super exciting. I have a photo shoot next week that is unbelievable. Like a career, <laughs> career, crazy career highlight. I'm just in a bit of a, I feel like a shocked headspace at the moment. I'm a bit shook with everything that's going on. I mean, obviously I'm delighted. I'm so happy and I'm thrilled. And I feel so like creatively challenged at the moment. I'm so enjoying the content we're creating and the comments that we get with the kind of creative projects we work on are just amazing. So that kind of makes it all feel so worth it. So I am so happy, but it's just a bit of a whirlwind. I can't really keep on top of everything that is going on right now it's all super exciting um, and of course i kind of will let you know all of it as soon as i know when i can share things but yeah crazy year so far and it's only like nearly the end of feb but yes we have so much that we're planning right now for milan and paris fashion weeks i'm not doing london because i've got a few things a few projects over the top of london in paris um, so we are going to do Milan and then do Paris um, Fashion Weeks, which I'm really excited about. Still gutted about New York, but it couldn't be helped.
wish, baby bo. You can cry all you want, but you're not getting any of this. I just really needed and fancied a breakfast pick-me-up today. Um, oh God, I'm in such a slump of a mood this past weekend. Just a few things, a few things kind of happening um, behind the scenes on a few projects I'm working on that are just really like enormous hurdles. Um, and it's really, I'm just, I'm just really struggling to keep positive through everything. It's hard to stay positive all the time. Yes, yeah, so I wanted a really delicious breakfast just to enjoy. Um, I'm gonna watch some Love is Blind and then I'm also gonna do a spin and then I need to pack for... Shh, darling, no, you can't have my peanut butter, jam, banana, coconut, banana chip bagels. They're not for you. You've got your breakfast. I've given you a good breakfast. Don't look at me like that. Yeah, I've just been having some real highs and lows recently. Like, the, the way that we're creatively challenging ourselves at the moment is really uplifting and I'm so enjoying that side of everything, but then there are just so many other things happening um, that I can't talk to you about or that are upcoming um, that are just such a massive slog and such an amount of extra work. Um, to do so yeah I'm just I'm just trying to stay afloat and keep my head um, above ground at the moment don't you <laughs> he's literally here look at him no bow no darling I'm sorry you can't have that baby yeah I just I just pray that we get to the point we need to and uh, quickly really no I've told you no oh no I'm sorry I know you're beautiful. You can give me those eyes all you want. Alex has gone off today again to get tattooed. Alex is in tattoo mode this year. He's trying to like, cover himself this year. It's like his new mission. So he's off again doing that. So we've got the day together, haven't we? Lots to do. Lots to, I need to pack for Paris. Like I say, I've got a few really exciting days in Paris uh, working on two projects that are unreal. Um, one especially is an enormous deal and whenever I can tell you about that I will because it's an enormous career highlight. I think I mentioned it in the last clip but I still need to get packing for that really. And then we're on to Milan for Fashion Week. Mm. Finally get into Fashion Week. I haven't done London at this time just because again I've just been, just been so busy with things and um, and I just feel like Fashion Week is such a beast anyway. I just really want to go ooh. I just really want to go to the shows that I really love of the brands that I wear um, and support or else I feel like, you know, going to shows that you guys aren't that bothered about doesn't serve you nor me, really. So um, I'm kind of waiting for Milan and Paris because a lot of my favourite brands are based in Milan and Paris. Of course, we miss New York, oh, unfortunately, that was a real pain because some, some of the shows that I've missed were absolutely like exceptional, like Carolina Herrera, Coach, you know, Michael Kors, just such incredible shows over in New York. Hopefully next season instead. You can see I'm in a real like slump, slump mood at the moment. I'm going to watch some Love is Blind and eat my bagel and it might cheer me up a little bit. It's because I was just taking Alex to the train station and I got talking about everything that I'm dealing with, dealing with at the moment internally and it's just, it kind of triggered me again. So I'm just like, ugh. <coughs> Down here. Look at you. Aren't you just the best? Aren't you the best? Yes you are. Yes you are. 